This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazov Moment. Tonight, annihilate Jews, a Cali Imam's call to Muslims. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you're following it, there was a California Friday sermon the other day given by Imam Amar Shaheen at the Islamic Center of Davis in Northern California. That's right, this is not in Pakistan or Saudi Arabia or Egypt or Iran. This is in Northern California. Very, very interesting um, Friday sermon. Uh, Imam Shaheen cited the infamous Jew-hating Hadith, that Sahih Muslim 6985, uh, which calls for the, uh, the killing of Jews. And he prayed for the annihilation of Jews. And uh, very, very interesting. And, uh, you know, he's instructing the Muslims to kill Jews, especially on Judgment Day, but not before Judgment Day, and, and ideally now. Uh, let me let you watch it for yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the situation of people. Until they change their own situation. Pakistan. The Prophet says that the time will come, the last hour would not take place till the Muslims fight the Jews. And we, that, we don't say if it's in Palestine or other, till they fight. And when that war breaks, that they would run and hide behind every rock and house and wall and trees. The house and the wall and the trees will call upon the Muslims. It will say, oh Muslim. It will not say, oh Palestinian, oh Egyptian, oh Syrian, oh Afghani, oh Pakistani, oh Indian. No, it will say, yeah Muslim, oh Muslim, Muslim. When Muslims comes back, come, there is someone behind me. Except a certain tree that they are growing today in Palestine, in that area, except this form of tree that they are growing today, that, that's the tree that will not speak to the Muslims. Okay, so it looks like Imam Shaheen is, you know, he's really passionate about this, very focused on, you know, ridding the world of the Jews. Uh, but, you know, he's only, you know, inspired and, you know, and, and sanctioned by Sahih Muslim 6985. So let's take a look at this hadith for a minute, just so we know what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad is quoted in Sahih Muslim 6985 is, is saying, the last hour would not come unless the, Jew, unless the Muslims will fight against the Jews and the Muslims would kill them until the Jews would hide themselves behind a stone or a tree, and a stone or a tree would say, Muslim or the servant of Allah, there's a Jew behind me, come and kill him. So, you know, we just add this all together. There's a Hadith 6985 that's instructing, quoting Muhammad, the Jews should be killed. So here we have Imam Shaheen in Northern California, very passionately talking, you know, about the importance of ridding the world of Jews and killing the Jews. Um, you know, just, just, just to add into the mix here that this perhaps is not maybe a big surprise is, you know, the Quran teaches that Jews are apes and pigs. Those of you who follow the, the, the scene in the world and uh, anti-Semitism throughout the world, you know that in the Islamic world, Jews are often referred to as, uh, as, as pigs and apes. And this is because they were transformed by Allah into apes and pigs. If you look at Surahs chapter 2, verses 63 to 65, chapter 5, verses 59 to 60, and chapter 7, verse 166, all these surahs discuss how Allah transform Jews into apes and pigs and therefore the belief in, in Islam and in the Islamic world. 
that uh, the Jews are descended from apes and pigs. اللهم إنا نسألك نصرة المسجد الأقصى وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى من أدناس اليهود اللهم عليك بمن أغلق المسجد الأقصى يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أرنا فيهم يوما أسودا وأرنا فيهم عجائب قدرتك اللهم أهلكهم بددا وأحصهم عددا ولا تغادر منهم أحدا اللهم حرر المسجد الأقصى يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل ذلك على أيدينا واجعل لنا نصيبا منه يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعلنا ممن ينصرونهم بالقول والعمل اللهم اجعلنا ممن ينصرونهم بالقول والعمل اللهم اجعلنا ممن ينصرونهم بالقول والعمل And so perhaps we understand why Imam Shaheen is also saying Oh Allah make this happen by our hands Let us play a part in this uh, you know, and he's, this is what he's praying in that sermon. Now, Imam Shaheen actually posted uh, on, the, on the Davis uh, uh, Majid YouTube channel this very sermon. So, I just want to ask a couple questions here. Does, does Imam Amar Shaheen, does he mean that Muslims should kill Jews? And should they kill Jews now? I'm also interested, where is the media on this. Where is Rachel Maddow? Where is Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon and the New York Times and, and Washington Post? We've got an imam calling for the murder of Jews and the media is not interested. Just, just imagine if a Christian pastor now, first of all, this would not happen because there's no verses to refer to and Christianity is not a, a religion of violence. So this would not happen. But hypothetically, if a Christian pastor did do this and he would be being a bad Christian if he was doing this, that's very important to stress because when an imam is doing this, he's following the Islamic religion. He's following the Islamic verses. If a Christian did this, he would be being a bad Christian. But just hypothetically, let's say a Christian pastor lost his mind, was being a bad Christian, and started calling for the murder of Muslims and posted his sermon on YouTube. Do you think that that video would still be on YouTube? More importantly, do we not agree that the police would probably be at his house yesterday and that he would be charged and arrested by now? And, and, and uh, I think it would be safe to assume that that would happen and an argument could be made that it should happen if somebody's calling for the murder of anybody. That's illegal. And yes, there should, the police and authorities should be very interested in that no matter what. But for some reason, if Imam Amar Shaheen is calling for the murder of Jews, the media is not interested and the authorities are not interested. Why is that? Could you write in to the Glazov gang and uh, explain to me why? That's a rhetorical question, of course, because we know why. Because the unholy alliance between the left and Islam rules our culture. The left is in control of our culture. So we're in a period now where it appears only Muslim lives matter. We'll see you on the next Jimmy Glazoff moment. Good night.